thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe below so we can expand our Squatch search with your help. Hi guys, uh, today's uh, episode is a uh, book review on uh, Bigfoot Terror in the Woods by W.J. Sheehan. It's actually, uh, it's an excellent book. Um, it's really a, just a compilation of several different uh, sightings, uh, encounters, uh, true encounters. Uh, uh, you know, similar to what, uh, you know, we have here on uh, Searching for Sa Sasquatch. Uh, that That's really... Uh, what was intriguing about the book that it's uh, you know very very similar to um, you know what we what we do here um, they're you know actual encounters not um, you know made up encounters based on real stories we don't we don't do that we you know that we do the best to try and vet them out um, or they're just BFRO encounters that we really uh, uh, you know, kind of rely on BFRO to vet them out, and they they have, kind of have the manpower to be able to do that. Eventually, you know, eventually uh, I think we'll get to that point too. Where we have you know bigger staff and whatnot. Um, anyhow, this book is great. Um, there's there's some uh, encounters in there that I that uh, are uh, really specific to um, bringing out the backstory. Uh, that that's really what I like about the book. It essentially uh, Without giving a, a ton away, uh, there's one in particular where uh, they're going out called, you know, it's called rock hounding, you know, looking for gems and rocks and things of that nature, which is, uh, it's pretty interesting. Uh, actually, you know, I got the book, obviously, to read about, you know, uh, Bigfoot encounters, but uh, as you kind of go through it, uh, you learn a little bit about, you know, rock hounding, and uh, they actually go to this area that was... Uh, uh, very, very squatchy, um, uh, you know, basically the way they described it was almost uh, prehistoric. And uh, they, you know, were searching for rocks and um, kind of saying what a, what a social thing it is. Who knew, you know, uh, kind of like, I guess, if you go on a large group with large group of squatchers, everybody's got a similar interest. So, um Anyhow, so yeah, they eventually seen it, end up seeing a Sasquatch. Again, uh, you don't want to get the book. Uh, you know, if you do want to get the book, see the link down in the description there. Um, but yeah, it's it really a great read. There's there's every chapter uh, essentially kind of puts you on the uh, uh, in, on pins and needles, if you will, or the anticipation of uh, what's to come. Uh, similar to our stories, you know they. They do have uh, quite a bit of uh, back backstory to some of them. Um, one in particular uh, was where a man's uncle had uh, seen Sasquatch, and this person telling the story had met someone else who also had seen Bigfoot, and he introduced him to his uncle. They went out in the uh, woods, and he showed him you know, he said, hey, let's go out in the woods. I want to show you some something weird. And, they, you know, uh, he showed him specific sighting uh, locations, um, you know, tree structures, things of that nature. Um, so, yeah, again, the backstory part is, is was most interesting to me, how they kind of, uh, you know, mm -hmm. tell the story. Um, again, based on real encounters, I'm sure the author did the best he can. Uh, to kind of vet these people out. Um, several fishing stories, uh, you know, where they're out, um, where there's a large amount of uh, active running fish, and then, you know, Sasquatch in the area, hence, uh, rightfully so, just with the large amount of uh, protein to be gained through, you know, that type of uh, eating, essentially. But, um, yeah, again... Um, there's there's numerous stories in the book that uh, for the most part they're very believable. Uh, the only downside I could say is there really are some of the third party uh, reports which we do kind of frown on. Uh, you know where you have one person uh, told the story that they heard from someone else, and that it's it's unavoidable at times. You know it's just. That's how it is. I mean, people can tell you, you know, it doesn't matter if it's Sasquatch or 
paranormal, you know, ghost story, that type of thing. It could be a third party thing. We kind of try and refrain from them as much as possible. Um, but, uh, the book kind of goes into it and they're still credible. They, they seem very legit. So I'd say the only, the only downside is, you know, when you kind of, you start reading about some of those, you really do kind of question, you know, how, how legit is this? How much, how much information did they retain? You know, it's that old thing you tell the story to one other person while well, 50% of it probably gets dropped. And then, you know, by the time the third person's telling it, it's probably a good chunk of it's gone. Um, but that aside, it's still a great book. It's packed with several encounters. I was really surprised, um, one after another, from multiple locations. So the author did a really good job of uh, kind of seeking out, uh, you know, people have seen Sasquatch, Bigfoot. Uh, and again, you know, for the most part, very believable. Um, so I would give it, you know, a, a star rating system. I'd, I'd give it right at four and a half stars, you know, uh, you know, minus the part where there's some third party encounters told, but, uh, yeah, I mean, again, pick up, pick up a copy. Uh, it, it's well worth it. Everybody have a great day. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe below and, uh, we'll keep on squatching.